I'm Dr. Farhana Lunas. I teach philosophy and political science at Skagit Valley College on the Mount Vernon campus. I am a South African and I've chosen my former president's book, The Struggle is My Life by Nelson Mandela. And I'm going to read the section on basic position of African nationalism. The starting point of African nationalism is the historical or even prehistorical position. Africa was, has been, and still is the black man's continent. The Europeans, who have carved up and divided Africa among themselves, dispossessed by force of arms the rightful owners of the land, the children of the soil. Today they occupy large tracts of Africa. They have exploited and still are exploiting the labor power of Africans and natural resources of Africa, not for the benefit of the African peoples, but for the benefit of the dominant white race and other white people across the sea. Although conquered and subjugated, the Africans have not given up and they will never give up their, their claim and title to Africa. The fact that their land has been taken and their rights whittled down does not take away or remove their right to the land of their forefathers. They will suffer white oppression and tolerate European domination only as long as they have not got the material force to overthrow it. There is, however, a possibility of a compromise by which the Africans could admit the Europeans to a share of the fruits of Africa and this is, inter alia, A, that the Europeans completely abandon their domination of Africa, B, that they agree to an equitable and proportionate redivision of land, C, that they assist in establishing a free people's democracy in South Africa, in particular, and Africa in general. It is known, however, that a dominant group does not voluntarily give up its privileged position. This is why the Congress youth puts forward African nationalism as the militant outlook of an oppressed people seeking a solid basis for waging a long, bitter, and unrelenting, unrelenting struggle for its national freedoms.